You want to tell me who you work for, Murphy? Otherwise, you're looking at 15 to life. I'm a self-employed baker. So you're telling me Miss Lovelace ordered two baguettes, three croissants for a little Pekingese, and half a pound of heroin? Raggedy Dan must have given her the smack. Raggedy Dan's a war hero. He's a junkie. This is Trumpton, Murphy. This ain't the Sodom and Gomorrah that is Camberwick Green. This is my town. I know it's your town, Potter. As does my employer. And he saw you in Camberwick Green last week, visiting one of Mrs Honeyman's girls. That was police business. Oh, is that what you call it? Take your cuffs off, Murphy. Let's go. You and me, right here, right now. I ain't hitting that cop. I saw what you did to Chippy Minton's boy. Then tell me who you work for. You know who I work for. Windy Miller. Windy Miller. It always comes back to Windy Miller. I should have killed him after what he did to Mrs. Cobbett. Well, maybe that old cow should have kept her mouth shut. I'm taking you down. You, Windy Miller, Mrs. Dingle and that bent cop McGarry. You're going to burn and it'll take an army to stop me. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I just got eight words for you, Potter. Oh, yeah. And what are they? Pew, Pew, Barney, McGrew, Cuthbert, Dibble and Grub. You son of a 